All right, welcome everybody. Let's have a chat about superlatives. Uh, when we have the adjectives, uh, I can compare. We had already comparison in 4B when I compare things like say big, bigger, small, smaller, but then I can also have superlatives. Can anybody explain what I mean by superlative with adjectives? Who wants to try? Nobody knows? So look, here's one example. The most powerful, the biggest, the worst, the toughest, the most difficult. Anybody knows what I mean? How would we explain it? Okay, so let me ask you, Peter, could you explain what I mean by the most powerful, if I say uh, the most powerful? The uh, superlative. This is... is the superlative, yeah. But can you translate it, perhaps? I think you have seen it. That's why I'm asking, yeah. No, nejsilnější. Nejsilnější, přesně tak. The biggest, Peter? Uh, největší. Největší, that's it. So I think you have already discussed it. So I'm just here to help you out with uh, revision. But at first, let's have a look at uh, the, this picture and then we can think about uh, the superlatives in a minute. So for example, Honza, can you, uh, Honza L, can you tell me uh, what you can see, what can you see in the picture? Can you use the words that you see above? Uh, oh, it's maybe uh, tsunami. Yeah, tsunami happened. And yeah. if I say a tsunami, uh, could you say like, like something like Navy Chivulna, for example? Uh, the, you... uh, the biggest wave. The biggest wave, excellent. And with this, with this big wave, with the tsunami, what do you think happened afterwards? Uh, can you use the words from, from here? Uh, Philip, could you try? Number one, so carry, dry land, leave, lift. Could you use these words? What happened with the tsunami? Ah, oh, Philip, you have no microphone. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, Richard, could you try? Uh, carry, dry land, leave. So, carry is nest, něco. Dry land is suchá země. Leave is opustit. Lift is něco vyzvednout. To znamená, třeba řekneme vlna nebo tsunami vyzvedla lodě a, a domy. Do you know how to say that? Can you try? Richard? Uh, yes. Uh, just try. Just say something with these verbs. That's important. Uh, so now the land is dry, right? Now the land is dry. Uh, do you think the people still live there? No, they left. They, they have left. That's it. And uh, lift? How, how can we say the word lift here? Richard, can you try? Mm. Čili tsunami vyzvedla lodě. It, it's uh, a regular tsunami word. Lifted. Lift, lifted the Bo boats. Boats. That's it. Okay. Good. And this uh, kind of uh, disaster is really serious, and as we see in the picture. And let's read what happened here exactly. Okay. Uh, just a few sentences, and then we will see the rules on this. Uh, so. Read the text and check your answers from exercise one. Let's let's check. Could you please read the first sentence for us, Alexa? Could you try? The Tohoku. Uh, the Tohoku earthquake in uh, earthquake. 2018 mm -hmm. was the most powerful earthquake ever in Japan and uh, the first most powerful in the world. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So I think no problem with this one. Uh, Martin, could you read the second sentence? Yeah, yeah again, uh, the earthquake happened 70 kilometers from the coast, but it uh, cast on the biggest tsunamis ever uh, rec recorded. 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 Good. So it caused. Uh, can you translate it for me? The word uh, cause, Matias, can you try? Cause. In this context, yeah, what do we mean? But it caused one of the biggest tsunamis ever recorded. Takže zemětřesení se stalo 70 km od pobřeží, ale 
Co se stalo? Eh, Vojtěch, you can try? Způsobilo. Ano, nebo zapříčinilo. Způsobilo, zapříčinilo. Jedno z největších tsunami v zaznamenané historii. So, uh, here guys, we don't have to read it all, because this is for your written task. All I wanted to do is to show you the superlatives here. There are two kinds. You can see two kinds of superlatives. Uh, there are two possible uh, ways to create a superlative. All right, uh, just a second, I will find uh, this one. So this is where we had comparisons and let's write down superlatives. All right, and uh, let's see. We have, there, there are two ways, just like with comparisons. And it's for the same reason. We have uh, longer words. This is where we have the first kind that we had here for comparisons. And then we have the shorter words that we just add L in here. So what happens with the longer words? Let's say here, longer words. For example, we had uh, powerful or boring. So longer words, uh, so it, it will help you to remember it ends with full or ink. It's always like this. So for example, interesting, okay? So how can I say uh, for example, Honza S, can you tell me? We have powerful. Uh, the most pow powerful. The most powerful, X, I, 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 I. the most powerful, there we go. Why do I need to use the in here? Anybody can tell me why? It must be there. If I don't leave it there, uh, it's a mistake. Anybody could tell me why? If I say only most powerful, it doesn't make sense because uh, I must say the most powerful wave, for example. Nobody knows? If you remember, I think we had it a few months ago. We were still at school. Um, when I have the, it can mean that it's unique unique unikatni okay if it's unique there's only one only one so if i say the most powerful this is the most powerful wave there is no more powerful wave this is the number one at the top okay this is why this is unique and if it's unique you must use the every time okay so remember guys when you use superlatives you must use it with uh, with the article the Never a, uh, okay? It must always be the, never a uh, or n. Uh, fine. Here is another thing. Just like with comparatives, we had more intelligent. So I would say, for example, more powerful than Chile, silnější uh, And I can say less powerful than méně silný než. Now, the same thing could happen in superlatives. That means I would say nejsilnější, a když řeknu nejslabší, nebo nejméně silný do slova. Anybody knows how to say that? Do you know it from, from school? Maybe you had it, you know, last year, I don't know. Because I, it, just like with comparatives, you know, I can compare up and I can compare down. So uh, I can say silnější, méně silný, but the same thing can happen. I can say nejsilnější, a můžu říct nejméně silný. Okay, and this would work like this. The least powerful, for example, wave. Okay, the least. So guys, this is maybe new. Uh, I don't think that it's in the book actually, but you should know it. Uh, I don't see the least here, but you should definitely know it. Um, so here, when I have the longer words, I can say the superlative that is up and the superlative that is down. So another example, we have the word boring. So for example, uh, Daniel, could you tell me how to say nejnudnější? Nejnudnější. The most boring. That's it. Easy peasy, no? And then uh, Richard, how could we say nejméně nudný? The slova. The least boring. The least boring. Easy, no? Then let's try another one. Um, Peter. How would we say nejvíce zajímavý nebo nejzajímavější? Uh, In, we have uh, interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the most interesting. Mm -hmm. Ay, ay, sorry. Here. And then we have the, um, maybe Honza, er, yes. nejméně zajímavý. Uh, the least interesting. There we go. 
So guys, okay, uh, I'm happy there's still something new to learn because you know this is something that you did at school, I'm sure, uh, you know, with your primary school. Uh, but here we have this is this might be new, the least. Just like here we have more or less, I can compare up or down. Here I can use uh, most, the most, and the least. So you have and amen. Okay. Unfortunately, this doesn't work like this in here. We have uh, shorter words as well. Shorter words. Okay. So this would be, you know, one or two syllables. But it, it doesn't work every time because, for example, boring. There are two syllables, bo, ring. So that's why maybe you should remember if it's with ing, it is always with uh, like, like a longer word, even if it's short. So we had the word uh, big, right? We had the words like big. So how can I say nay, viet, she, uh, Martin, could you tell the us? The biggest? Uh, yeah, wonderful. It's easy peasy, I, I think, yeah, nothing to do. Yeah, it's easy. So you see, it works like this. We have the and est. It will surround the word. And what will also happen here then? Uh, can you see it? For example, Alexa, what will happen with G in here? Uh, it's only one G. Yeah, we have one G here, but how many Gs are here? Two. Two, that's it. So what will happen is the following. What, uh, that I need to make it double, all right? And why do I need to say double? What if I just say like this, you know? How would we read this? We had something similar. If you remember, we had it here. We had it right here. I asked you something like this. So can you read this for me, um, Matias? These three words, can you read this for me? Big, bigger. No, 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 no. This is not bigger. This is biger. Bigger and bigger. This is biger, but this one here? Bigger. Bigger, that's it. So you, you hear the difference in pronunciation. This is by, biger, okay? And this, this obviously doesn't make sense because this word does not exist, okay? Maybe the word tiger is okay, huh? Tiger is okay, but biger doesn't exist. For this reason, guys, we need to divide and close the syllables. And this happens when I have this gg pt. Okay, let me give you one example here. We have, uh, for example, hot. Okay, horky nebo teplý. A já řeknu nejteplejší. For example, Daniel, can you tell me? The hottest. The, the hottest, yeah, that's it. Excellent. So I can, I can again do this, but uh, again, don't forget, I must make double T in these short words. Otherwise, I would say hottest. If I only say one T, it would be hotest. And again, it doesn't exist, okay? So this uh, extra T and extra G will change the pronunciation so that we close the syllable, all right? So that's, that's what we need. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Another thing, another thing, and that's what you said right now, Daniel. Uh, you said the hotest, okay? There, there's this thing about pronunciation. Let me show you here. Pronunciation, we have uh, the, okay? And they are so-called weak and strong forms. We have a strong form and we have a weak form. To znamená silná forma a slabá forma. One is pronounced as the and the other is pronounced as the, okay? The, uh, so here, strong form. I think this is new as well for you. So uh, I hope, you know, there's still something new today. So then we have a uh, weak form. Now, I have a question because uh, I can pronounce it the same way. I will show you how. So for example, I can say the biggest and I can say the biggest, but there is a difference in uh, how the native speakers will feel it. If I say the biggest, and if I say the biggest, it's a little bit different. Anybody would like to tell me the difference? I mean, you can try, just guess. What do you think is the difference? If I say, no, no, uh, for example, I would say, uh, Brno is the biggest city in, in the Czech Republic. Is it correct, Wojciech? Brno is the biggest city in the Czech Republic. Um, it's not true. 
it's and not true it's not true that uh, it's uh... yeah but uh, what is the biggest city then yeah yeah the biggest city is prague yeah that's it so you would say no right prague is the biggest city in the czech republic Okay, this is how we would write it. And now let's pronounce it because this is important here. I'm saying no, right? You want to emphasize this. You, when you emphasize, have you heard of this here, emphasis? Have you have you heard this word before, anybody? Emphasis or stress, also stress, I can say. Anybody knows? To znamená důraz, důraz, okay? Když chci něco velmi zdůraznit, a říct, že třeba něco tak není. A nebo když chci něco opravdu uh, zdůraznit ve svoji řeči, že je něco důležité, tak použiju silné formy. Then they are strong forms. OK? Let me show you how. So, Brno is the. This is a simple, simple sentence here. So I would just say the. Brno is the biggest city in the Czech Republic. No, Prague is the biggest city in the Czech Republic. Because here I don't agree with you, and I'm trying to stress it that no, 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 no. The biggest city is not uh, Brno, but Prague is the biggest city in the Czech Republic. Okay, guys, if you use the weak form and if you say the in here, it is not a big issue. Okay, it's not a big problem. I just want to tell you that there are these little details in the pronunciation that uh, will change the feeling of the sentence but it will not change the you know the overall idea i will understand you anyway but it's just if you create the strong form for this and you say it then you will really emphasize it and say no 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 prague is the biggest the same thing can happen with uh, other articles which other articles do you know tady máme jeden člen a ještě existuje jiný člen ten se sice nepoužívá u superlativu ale ještě existuje člen neurčitý what is the other article then? Um, maybe Richard. Do you know the different article? This one, right? No chitty chlan. Oh. And again, oh. Takže když já o něčem mluvím poprvé, tak já použiju a. Trošku jsme odběhli od superlativu, ale více méně už to máme od toho. Když máme a, then again, let me show you. Uh, article, article, where is it? Uh, 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 here. Yeah, that's it. Again, you see weak form, weak form, strong form. All right. So let's see here. Uh, weak form, it's a. Uh. All right. And then the same thing can happen. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Where was it? Here. The same thing can happen with the strong form and that it's different. So strong form, a. And then we have a. Uh. So, guys, it's the same principle. So, my question is what's the difference between a strong form a and a weak form a? Uh? Who wants to tell me? It's the same principle I just told you. So, Wojciech, can you try? Yeah, weak form is uh, that it isn't on impasses. Yeah, so, emphasis, yeah. Emphasis, yeah. And strong form is uh, when it's uh, when you want to. Weak form is just when you speak, right? Just on your own. You don't want to stress it. Yeah? It's just yeah. you're speaking, it's natural, right? But if you want to stress it, if, for example, you disagree with someone, then yes. Yeah, okay. when you when you want to correct some some someone mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 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 so let's uh, think of some example here for the these articles so for example uh, he is a businessman he's a businessman for example he is a businessman and again i will stress it right stressed Tady mám na tom větší důraz. On je, on je nějaký businessman. Tady on řeknu, on je businessman. Bychom to užili česky. So here we would just say a, here and here a. Uh. And again, guys, these are details, okay? 
don't think about it too much. It's just for you to know that the pronunciation can be a little bit different. And especially with the superlatives, this is very important because as we see here, for example, we have, um, when we said about it's what we said about Brno and Prague, right? Brno is the biggest city in the Czech Republic. No, 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 no. Prague is the biggest city in the Czech Republic. Any questions, gentlemen, about this? That's basically what we need. Everything okay? Any questions? Wonderful. So I will leave this uh, document on your Google Classroom. Uh, feel free to ask me questions later. Uh, but basically, your whole written task this week is all about superlatives. So I suggest we can try a little bit together and uh, you will be ready for your task. So thank you. I'll see you later.